I almost thought the fall was even cooler than the kick. <laughs> Who did it better? Yeah. What's going on guys? Back with another video. So I am not back in my house. I am at a karate studio. So for those of you who don't know, Cobra Kai season four came out. And if you guys don't know what Cobra Kai is, they're living under a rock. That you're living under a rock. It's an awesome Netflix show that is basically a continuation of the story of the original Karate Kid movie. And we have seen a lot of fight scenes from that show. And for us martial artists, we can kind of tell the difference between those who are trained martial artists and not so trained martial artists. And so what we're gonna do is find some iffy technique from a bunch of fight scenes from Cobra Kai. And we're going to tell you guys what they could have done better in that scene and why it would have been effective in a real fight. Now, I could not be doing this video without Mr. Booth here. I have known him since I started martial arts because he instructed me. He is still teaching martial arts to this day. This is his studio. Studio. Thank you so much for letting us use your studio, by the way. We're so excited to have you guys here today. And guys, before I get to the corrections and we put them side by side, comment below if you can see the difference. Anyway, with that, let's go. So the first one is of Tanner Buchanan, who plays Robbie, trying to do a spin hook kick to try and hit Sholo, who plays Miguel, in the final battle of season one. Hey, buddy! So what's wrong with this kick? Well, he's trying to do a spin hook kick. Sholo evades really easily. So what he does is he tries to follow Sholo by continuing to spin and trying to kick him. But his kick is not very high and his technique did not allow him to use as much power as he could have in such a kick. So here's my example of what the spin hook kick should look like. Action. So in the side by side, you can see that my spin hook kick is much higher and much cleaner and it's specifically aimed toward the head. So this next kick is of Mary Mauser who plays Sam trying to do a side kick to basically push one of the guys that she's fighting kind of away from her. And it works really well in the fight, but the sidekick itself doesn't have great technique because it's kind of a mix between a front kick and a sidekick. So what I did was a perfect number three sidekick straight to the head. Action. So why did I choose to go for the head instead of the stomach like she did? Pushing them to the stomach is great to push them out of the way, but kicking to the face is a great way to knock them out for good so you can move on to someone else in the fight because there was a lot of people in that fight. Now here's the side by side. Now guys, this is a choreographed fight with martial arts moves. So this is not exactly how a real fight would go down. So I am being kind of nitpicky, but I thought it'd be kind of fun because I know a thing or two about fight choreography. So this next scene starts off one of the best fight scenes and longest fight scenes in the entire series of Cobra Kai. Let's check it out. This one is a Peyton List who plays Tori doing a front kick or a push kick to Mary Mauser to push her back into the crowd. Now I say front kick or push kick because there is a difference. What Peyton did is something kind of in between. What I'm going to do is demonstrate what it's supposed to look like if it were supposed to be a push kick and if it were supposed to look like a front kick. And so you can see the difference. Comment below if you can see the difference between the front kick and the push kick. So here's mine. Action. Now let's look at the side by side. This next scene is a great battle from the first All Valley Tournament in the series where Sholo is fighting Xander, who is played by Talon Chat, which is actually a dude I've met a couple times. Super nice guy and he's extremely talented. It's no wonder he is a stuntman and a martial artist in the film. Let's talk about the fight scene. This one is a correction on Sholo's part, in my opinion. <laughs> Ah! 
So Sholo did a bunch of different kicks, and when I tried to do the sequence of kicks that he did, I found it was actually quite difficult, but there were still some things that he could have done better in that sequence of kicks. So the first kick he does is front kick, and then he shifts his weight to a round kick, which is actually pretty good looking, and then he does a reverse side kick, but this reverse side kick, his chest is facing away from the target rather than a bit more towards the target, and that's part of why the side kick was not as powerful as it could have been, and the foot positioning could have been better. For how difficult it is, he performed it really well. Now here's my performance of it. Action. perfect either because I didn't realize until I started trying to do it how difficult it really is. And here's the side by side. side by side, and though I told you mine isn't great, comment below who did it better. So this next one is a kick performed by Peyton List. She does a really powerful spin hook kick to the head of someone who gets tumbled down by actually doing kind of like a double B twist to the ground. I almost thought the fall was even cooler than the kick. Thanks. <laughs> So the main thing I'm noticing is her arms are not really up here. Not only does this help keep you up on guard to keep this portion of your body safe when kicking, but it also helps you maintain your balance. So when your arms are kind of out, then it can be easier to lose your balance. And you can see when I do it, I have a lot of balance. Now here's the side by side. So this next one is with both Ralph Macchio and William Zabka who play Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence. And they are fighting together in the warehouse. Now, this was effective, but it definitely could have been much more powerful if he got down on his knee and did a full sweep. You should see a major difference between his and mine because I went all the way down so that I could perform a nice clean sweep to the feet, whereas he was standing up and basically doing the same thing. So here's mine. Action. And then here's Daniel's. difference. So this next one is a jump front kick performed by Ralph Macchio. <laughs> The kick itself, I'd say, was at least decent. He could have extended his leg a little bit more, but usually when hitting a target, if the target gets to you before you can extend your leg, you can't really extend your leg at all. And I definitely noticed that when I was trying to perform these kicks as well. But the main thing I noticed is his arms could have been up on guard, and that would have helped immensely with the overall technique. Action. And here's the side by side. You can see my rather controlled technique, whereas his is a bit more chaotic. But I almost think that kind of added to the fight scene itself, because fight scenes are very chaotic. So this next one is where Daniel is fighting Shozen in Okinawa. What he did on this one was the kicks were decent. He couldn't quite extend his kicks because there was an opponent blocking them. But he didn't keep his hands up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel so bad. But like, that's like the main thing I'm pointing out. But it's so important. So here's mine. Action. You can see my hands are up. You can see I have balance. And then here's Ralph's. You guys see what I mean? Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe. If you want to see more Cobra Kai comparisons, give this video to 30,000 likes and I'll do a part two. Thank you so much to Eden, my mom, myself, <laughs> Mr. Boo, and Dana for being in my video. Thanks guys. Wow, yeah!